Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we're going to put the Flying Tomato against a Mackie Raider. So there's going to be a bit of a technological gap, but I think it could be quite interesting, this one. So here we go. Right. Now I'm thinking Giant Battleship versus Small Attack Fighter, but with a technological gap. Will they balance each other out? Oh gosh! Yeah, the um, advanced photons of the... I say advanced, more modern torpedoes of the Maki Raider have got straight through our shielding. I'm going to try using the tractor beam to slow it down as my photons don't seem to be connecting. Oh gosh! Yeah, my phasers aren't having any effect. Look at that, they're even... the tractor beam's not having an effect either. That's crazy. I guess it's kind of like a big ship versus the Defiance, isn't it, really? Bigger ships are more powerful, but smaller ships can have an edge sometimes. They can run circles around you. Okay, we got a target lock then, so surely that should hit. No! I really didn't envisage this happening, if I'm honest. I thought this would be fairly balanced. Man. I'm struggling here. Look at that. We're not even getting through their shielding. It's crazy. Now we've got... We had a dead target lock then. And look. It's not even connecting. Uh-oh. We all know what that means. This is crazy. We have a hole breach. Force fields in place and holding. Well, it is Shikote, I suppose. Lost our top shield. They're going to finish us off. I can't... I don't really see a way out of this for us. No. Right. Let's try that the other way around. Just to rule things out. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so even our phases are having a big effect, aren't they? It's like... The Yamamoto isn't capable of dealing with a small, fast-moving ship. Look at that. We can just zip around with torpedoes. And the phasers. See why the Maki used these, can't you? Look at that. We're almost through their shields. Now, don't forget as well, they've got two warp cores on that ship. I guess the more advanced technology wins out. Oh, wow! Sir, we are draining their top shield. Man, it's crazy. Do you know, this kind of makes me think. In that episode where the 29th century time ship came to destroy Voyager, how did Voyager... Oh yes, we got the shield generator! How did Voyager it was able to disable that ship? It just seems ridiculous to me that. what It should have been a one-shot thing, shouldn't it? I mean, look at this. This has just proved it. And this is only a hundred-year gap, roughly, isn't it? Okay, well, the shield generator's gone, so... They're in big trouble. We can just dissect them now. Hey, there we go. All right, well, the Mackie Raider wins. What does everyone think of that with the technology gap? Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.